I'm Erin Davey, and I'm bringing to you guys an episode of Cosa Connectors. We're sharing some amazing tools for you to express yourself and create art with. And the awesome thing is, all these tools are free, so you can go out and start experimenting it right after you watch this video. Now, I hope this video brings pleasure to your life, and let's get to the content. This video is about the tool Hydra, created by Olivia Jack. Hydra is a web-based platform for creating live coding visuals. It's built on WebGL and WebRTC. You can access this at hydra.ojack.xyz, but if you prefer to work offline, you can also download a package for GitHub's Atom Text Editor. It works pretty well, and I've used it myself. With Hydra, you can create oscillator, noise, shape, and borrow noise sources and manipulate them via a variety of color and geometry modulators. These outputs can be interpolated and combined with each other to create all sorts of weird video syntheses. It's written in JavaScript and can work with other JavaScript libraries like P5.js. Via peer-to-peer -peer streaming, you can share video signals with your friends such that all of you guys can jam out in your Zoom live coding sessions. There's a ton of free resources that can help you get used to Hydra. The first place I'll guide you to is a GitHub repo. There you can find a short and sweet guide that helps you create some basic output. You can also view the complete documentation here. It provides a short description and examples for mostly implemented functions. Another good resource is the Hydra book by Naoto Hieda. It's quite detailed and I suggest it to anyone who feels a bit overwhelmed or intimidated by the tool. You can find this mesmerizing online tome at hydrabook.naotohineda.com. Lastly, I'll direct you to a Twitter account, at HydraPatterns. It is a bot that posts sketches that were created with Hydra. It's just an amazing inspiration trove, to be quite honest, so I really suggest that you check that out. Some of the examples have flashing images, so if you're sensitive to that, please proceed at your own risk. That's all for this video. I hope you guys found it interesting and informative. You can find me on Twitter at Audi, or you can catch my creative coding streams at Cozy Coding on Twitch. Now go forth and make those bits artistically beep and boop. See you guys later.